Bonjour, in this video, I will show you how to tackle the TEF Compréhension Écrite Exam, section A. In section A, you will get a series of petites annonces. You will have then to answer two questions based on this petite annonce. So, read the document and all of the questions several times. Pay attention to the wording of the statements, which can sometimes be quite misleading. Okay, so let's have a look at what section A of the Compréhension Écrite Exam for the TEF looks like. Here is an example. So, section A is quite simple. You are going to have a series of posters or, or announcements. With this, you are going to have two kinds of questions. I'm going to show you for this poster in particular, it's going to be like this. For question one, we want to know what kind of document this is. And for question two, who is this document for? And you will find the answer just by looking at this announcement here or the small poster. Okay, so let's have a look at what we have here. L'évolution du langage, Dr. Aki au boulot. And we've got two words here and I'm going to point them out in yellow. Étudiant, enseignant. And then we've got two other words, débat et discussion. Okay, and we've got quite an important um, information here, 13 juillet. Okay, so we've got not many words, but can we answer the questions? Let's have a look at the questions. Ce document est. This document is. And then you need to select A, B, C ou D. Is it? Une invitation à une exposition? Une annonce publicitaire? Un poster pour une conférence? Ou un panneau de direction? So what do you think that is? Have a look at it again. I'm going to go back here. Is this a publicity of some kind? Is it selling something where there is no, uh, no numbers or nothing here that tells us that uh, there is anything for sale? Okay, let's have a look. Une invitation à une exposition. Une annonce publicitaire. Un poster pour une conférence. Un panneau de direction. So, what I suggest you do when you do this kind of exercise, it would be nice for you to process by elimination. The last one, D, says, un panneau de direction. Is this poster telling you a direction or telling you how to get somewhere? Well, it isn't. So, we are going to miss that one out. It's not D. Is this une annonce publicitaire. I'm looking at that because we know it is not a publicity, as in a selling of a product publicity. Ce n'est pas une annonce publicitaire. So we've got two here. Une invitation à une exposition. In this poster, we do not have the word invitation per se. Un poster pour une conférence. Now let's have a look at it again. It looks like it's a conference. It looks like that's the title of the conference, l'évolution du langage. It looks like it's being held by a professor, Dr. Aiko Bulo. It looks like it's being held on the 13th of July. And these are the people that are invited, and this is what's going to happen. Débat et discussion. Okay? So, It's not quite an invitation to an exposition, an exhibition, more like. It's a poster pour une conférence. That would be your answer to this. Okay? And now let's have a look at answering question C. <laughs> question two, not C. Ce document s'adresse. So, who is this document for? Aux étudiants exclusivement. So, this document addresses itself to the aux oh, étudiants exclusivement, aux élèves et aux professeurs, so we've got not only the students but the students and teachers, aux corps enseignants et administratifs, so solely to the corps enseignants, as in the, the teaching uh, body and the administration, ou à tout 
toutes les personnes intéressées. Or all interested people. So, sometimes uh, answering, you, you will find that the uh, suggestions of the answers can be quite misleading, but you've got to look at the information here. We have two words here. Étudiant et enseignant. Étudiant, students. Enseignant are the people that teach, okay, teachers. So looking at that, who is this document for? Les étudiants exclusivement? No. We can erase this one because we have étudiant et enseignant. Is it aux élèves et aux professeurs? Could be. Is it au corps enseignant et administratif? No, because it's of les étudiants et les enseignants. So we can process this one and eliminate it. Et is it à toutes les personnes intéressées? To all interested people. Well, no. We have two people invited, two kind of people invited here. Les enseignants, as in professeurs, et les étudiants, as in pupils, les élèves. So this can only be B as an answer. So, ce document est un poster pour une conférence et il s'adresse aux étudiants et aux professeurs. Let's have a look at this again. Here we go. And sometimes you won't have many words, okay? But it is all about knowing your vocabulary, okay? Sometimes knowing synonyms is really, really important. In this case, we have étudiant et enseignant, and the equivalent in our answers was élève or professeur, for example, okay? Remember, this exercise is to familiarize yourself with the different types of exercises in the exam. You've got different sections, especially for the compréhension um, écrite. Learn efficient exam techniques. Expand your vocabulary knowledge. And of course, for more demonstrations like this one, please check my full TEF course in the link in the description or click on the link here. For anyone wanting to buy the course, I'm giving an exclusive 10% discount if you come from this video. That's it for me. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bisous, bisous.